Symmetry. What is symmetry? When a shape or design has identical halves, like a mirror image, it's called symmetry. Which of these two shapes is symmetrical? The heart. The heart shape is symmetrical and the lightning bolt is asymmetrical. You can draw a line down the heart to create identical halves like this. This is not possible with the lightning bolt. This line is called a line of symmetry. A heart shape has one line of symmetry. Shapes can have more than one line of symmetry too. The heart has one line of symmetry. This rectangle has one, two, two lines of symmetry. This triangle has one, two, three, three lines of symmetry. And this square, one, two, three, four. It has four lines of symmetry. Think about symmetry like folding a piece of paper in half. If the two halves line up, the fold is a line of symmetry. Let's try. Here's a piece of paper. I can fold it in half down the middle like this. Or I could fold it diagonally from corner to corner like this. When I folded it down the middle, the two halves lined up. When I folded it diagonally, the two halves did not line up. There's a trick for finding lines of symmetry for regular polygons. Regular polygons have all congruent or equal sides and angles like these. Irregular polygons do not have congruent or equal sides and angles. They look like this. This triangle has congruent sides. All three of its sides measure three inches long, so they are congruent, which just means equal. It also has congruent angles. All of the angles measure 60 degrees. So this is a regular polygon. To be more specific, it's a regular triangle. This triangle does not have congruent sides. The bottom is two inches, and the sides are three and a half inches. They're not all the same length. It doesn't have congruent angles either. It is an irregular polygon or an irregular triangle. For all regular polygons, the number of sides is the number of lines of symmetry. So for that regular triangle, it has three sides, which means it also has three lines of symmetry. A square is a regular polygon. It has equal sides and equal angles. So it has four sides, which means it also has four lines of symmetry. Look at this regular pentagon. It has five sides, so it's going to have five lines of symmetry. This regular hexagon has six sides, so it will have six lines of symmetry. And this regular octagon has eight sides, so it will also have eight lines of symmetry. Remember, this only works for regular polygons when they have congruent sides and congruent angles. It won't work for irregular polygons, like this irregular triangle. It actually only has one line of symmetry, even though it has three sides. A rectangle has four sides, but it only has two lines of symmetry. This pentagon is all stretched out. It doesn't have congruent sides. It has five sides, but it actually only has one line of symmetry. This hexagon still has six sides, but it only has two lines of symmetry. And this octagon with eight sides, it also only has two lines of symmetry. Symmetry is often found in nature, art, and architecture. This butterfly has a line of symmetry. This snowflake 
has six lines of symmetry. And this building also has a line of symmetry. Be on the lookout for symmetry in the world around you. Let's review symmetry. Symmetrical shapes can be folded along a line of symmetry and match up perfectly on either side. Asymmetrical shapes do not have any lines of symmetry. For all regular polygons, the number of sides is also the number of lines of symmetry. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.